Hey now, hey. How curious. Travel widely to become wise, for all things are too easy at home, and the ignorant who sit among wise men will be mocked. If the bees bother you, boy, maybe do not stand so close to the hive. But I need honey. Just a little. It's for my friend. It's all she likes to eat. She's so gentle and kind, but if she doesn't get her honey, I don't know what will happen. I've tried poking it with a stick, but it riots them up something chronic. My friend loves honey. She has a very sweet tooth. You got the honey? Oh, thank you. Oh, that looks delicious. Leave it on that rock and she'll be right along. with me. She'll be here soon. Winifred looked after me ever since mother and father died. She's my best friend. The other children tease me. Sometimes they throw stones to shoo me away and call me the grubby watcher in the woods. Winifred saved my life. I was curled up on the grass praying that God would take me too. And she scared the wolves away. Winifred, I got you honey. Winifred, my bestest of bears. Any day spent with you is my favorite day. So today is my new favorite day. This kind stranger got you some honey. What do we say? Thank you. All that honey must have given you quite a thirst. Are you really all right out here on your own, little one? Silly. 
I'm not alone with the very best of bears by my side. Goodbye, and thank you. Come on, Winifred. Shall we walk to the lake? Maybe we can splash in the reeds. Fellowship, but then friendship can often be found in unexpected places. Guards here are vigilant. Stranger. Briars might hide you. Dark spirits torment this land.
What happened, little one? Mummy's ring. I just took it out to look at it, and a mean bird snatched them off me. What were you doing with your mother's ring? Someone borrowed it, and she asked me to get it back. But now it's up in that tree, and I can't climb that. There's the bird's nest. Are you the girl's mother? Stepmother. My husband gave me that ring. My stepdaughter stole it from me. She's been a plague to me ever since I married her father. When all I've tried to show her is kindness. She says you borrowed it from her mother. Her mother is dead. Oh, perhaps it did belong to her once. I didn't know. Your new husband gave you his dead wife's ring. We don't have much. I will not spurn a gift from a good heart. He's a fine man, and I love him, dear. But his daughter will never love me. Not while she still pretends her mother's alive. Let the girl have the ring. It is all she has of her mother. Do this, and new bonds may grow between you in time. You are wise, stranger. It is hard to give it up, but it belongs to her more rightfully than I. Take it to her, please. Have your mother's ring. Be careful in the future. You should hold tight to what is precious. I saw you talking to my stepmother down there. Did she try to take it off you? What a warty old dragon. She agreed that you should have it. Be kind to her, little girl. She's trying her best for you. I suppose. I'll speak to mother about it. Farewell, then. Best raise my hood here.
The emissary is somewhere here. Perhaps I can find the letter without bloodshed. The Bard said Paladins trained at this fortress. This will not be an easy fight. This area is off limits. side must be barred. If I could steal the letter without killing the emissary, it would keep me out of trouble. What's all that about?
Alfred's chosen elderman is a thane called Tetmet. The abbot Cunebert will want to know. I should meet Basim and the abbot in Falkenstern.
Oh! <laughs> 